Hey guys, John here with Survival Dispatch, and I wanted to talk to you about my mini survival pack. And uh, no, this is not it. Uh, this is my everyday carry bag. This goes with me uh, anywhere and everywhere, uh, into every vehicle, every plane, uh, every building that I go into pretty much. But if a uh, situation were to happen that I really needed to scale down uh, and be as light and as quick as possible, I'm definitely not going to carry this. You know, it has a ton of work stuff in it. Uh, for me, I mean, it has my laptop, you know, MiFi card, uh, hard drives, things like that. I don't need any of that. Um, and I believe in a, in a true survival situation, especially an urban survival situation, you definitely want to blend in as much as possible, not stick out, you know, not be carrying a huge rucksack or something like that. So within this bag, I always keep a small uh, kit that I, you know, would use if I only had, you know, say 20 miles or maybe a day or hike, you know, to get home or to get to a safe place. Um, what I would do is, is I would scale this down to my small pack. And all it is is open this and pull out what many would call the fanny pack. Uh, it is the, the forgotten child of, of all backpacks because, you know, they were cool in the 80s, but they're not cool anymore. Uh, so the two things I would grab is my fanny pack and then my grail water bottle, which I always, you know, carry with me all the time. So we'll set this out of the way. And we'll talk about the two things. So first of all, my Grail water bottle, uh, G-R-A-Y-L, uh, has a, a press filter in it, kind of like a coffee maker that will filter out pretty much any uh, any particles, any bacteria, protozoa, anything like that, uh, makes safe drinking water. So, you know, you always know that you have, number one, not only a way to carry water, but a way to filter water also. And then um, I went with a fanny pack. Uh, this is something that is extremely small, lightweight. I can literally put it under my shirt and lift it up a little bit and just kind of look like I got a big gut and nobody knows that I'm actually having, you know, I'm carrying stuff with me. I don't have a backpack or messenger bag, anything like that. Um, and I'm allowed to, to be pretty much 100% maneuverable also. You know, I can run full speed. I'm not carrying a 20, 20 pound pack or something like that. Um, I can go and do whatever I want to with this pack on me. And you can wear it in a bunch of different spits. You know, you can wear it to your side. You can wear it in the back like a lumbar. Um, and I will say, this also supports my EDC system. So I'm still carrying a pistol. I'm still carrying, you know, mag, flashlight, uh, knife, things like that on me. Um, so you won't see much redundancy in here. It's just add-on items to to give me a better chance of getting to to my position that I need to. Um, this is what I use is a uh, a Mountain Smith uh, Vibe. And you might ask me like, hey, you know, are you trying to be tactical with the FDE and things like that? Like, no, not at all. It was just on sale. That was the reason why I got this color. Um, I like the vibe because it's pretty much the smallest fanny pack I could find. Um, you know, I didn't want something. If you get to like a, uh, a lumbar pack or something like that, you might as well just carry a, a regular size backpack. So I wanted something extremely small. And this literally just folds up and it slides down into the bottom of my backpack. It's there every single day. Uh, I pretty much forget that it's down there. It gives my laptop a little bit of cushion. Um, but if I were to ever need it, it's definitely there. So let's dive into the items uh, that I store in here. All right, guys, so now we're gonna take a look at the items that I carry in my mini survival kit. So starting on the main pocket here, uh, and this thing actually carries a whole lot more than you would actually think. Um, I think one of the biggest things is, is being able to signal people. Uh, this is from Terranco uh, company, terranco.com. Uh, what this is is their signaling kit, and it, care, it covers pretty much every way I think you can think of to, to cover some, to signal somebody. First, start with a, uh, a nice bright uh, orange marker and a whistle. Uh, has an IR panel in it. Open up the bottom here, and uh, has a, a Solus kit, which can be worked really well uh, at night for a reflector. Has a signal mirror, um, and then on the end here. Uh, if you can't see, it's got some mini chem sticks as well. So a great way to, to be able to signal for help if you needed to. Uh, and then it fits into a nice, you know, neat package. So that's, that's the first thing that I carry. And I always want to make sure it's on top because in a survival situation, if you need to get help, you usually need to get it quickly. So that's the best way to, to signal. Uh, the second item is going to be a compass. Um, you know, we can't, we don't know where to go if we don't know where we're going. So I carry a Sunto compass with me um, to make sure I know, you know, exactly what my heading is and, and where I'm, I'm going. Um, if it's anything with regards to it being cold, if we need a shelter, um, 
if somebody is, you know, in shock, anything like that, always have an emergency blanket. They're small, they're lightweight, easy to use. Um, you can really, you can use these for collecting water, uh, getting out of the sun, warming up if you need to, building a shelter, pretty much anything you can think of, you know, so I always carry an emergency blanket with me. Um, the next is a, uh, an RE Factor, uh, RE Factor survival bracelet. Uh, this has a P51 can opener on it. It has a flint on it if I needed to use a spark. Uh, it does have a handcuff key built into it. This also has fishing line, a fishing hook, um, and other items stored in here as well. If I unravel it, then I also have the paracord as well. So it's kind of one of those you know, compact um, items that fits a whole lot of of features into a small space and that's kind of what I'm you know dealing with here with this kid is trying to make it as small as possible uh, and then next would be my fire kit this has some quick tenders in it has a little bit of uh, fatwood in it um, I use an exotech uh, nano spark with it as well which has a quick tender tab in it as well uh, a little bit of duct tape to help hold all the tender together. You can light the ranger bands on fire. They burn really well. They burn black also in case you needed to, to signal somebody again. So that would be all the items that I have in my fire kit. Uh, this is kind of a, uh, an E&E &E kit. has quite a few different things in it with regards to, uh, to handcuff keys, to shim keys. Uh, snare wire, um, just a bunch of, of things that can help if you find yourself in a bad situation. Uh, I like to wrap everything in ranger bands just because they have so many uses. You know, you can always, you can always use them for something else if need be. Um, as far as E&E &E situation, again, uh, I have a set of bump keys in here. Uh, bump keys are a fantastic way to, to get into or out of uh, most locks, if you know how to use them, uh, they are they are usually quicker than using lock picks. So that's why I carry a set of bump keys with me. And then uh, this is kind of just a fixer packet here. Uh, I got a rubber band, some super glue, and uh, some safety pens. These things have so many uses. You know, I never never really leave home without them. Uh, and as you can see, you fit more and more in here than you think. You know, food's not a huge priority. Uh, most people think that they can go three weeks without food. Trust me, if you go more than a couple days without food, you're going to be hating life. Um, so I always carry, this is just, uh, you know, beef jerky bar, just something to get you going. You know, most people think that, you know, you can go days without food, but that's also because they're sitting at a computer all day long. When you actually start talking about, you know, you're putting in, you know, 10, 15, 20 miles a day, your body burning up that many calories, you have to replenish that somehow. And uh, beef jerky is a great way to do it. it has a lot of protein uh, and some fat in it as well. Uh, so that's what I carry in the, in the main pocket here. Um, and there's still room if I needed to add something more. In the front, I carry a small 4.7s flashlight. I keep this one on a tether just so I can keep it around my wrist, uh, just so, you know, in case I were to lose it, I don't want to lose, you know, that extra light. So just keep that on there just for a little bit of security. Um, but that's also a red light. I like using red light at night uh, just to keep um, my night vision and not giving away my position that much. And then I got a, a small Bic lighter in here also. This is always my first way of, of starting fire. Um, I always put a small zip tie around it so you can't depress the the actuator and leak all the gas out. So that's a little tip for you there, but that goes with, with my fire kit. Um, and I carry a, a Leatherman uh, Skeletool. This is the CX model. Um, this is a great tool. You know, it gives me pliers, it gives me knife, it gives me screwdrivers. Um, and you know, it's still lightweight so I can get some work done if need be, if I needed to repair something, you know. And like I said, guys, this is also uh, in addition to my, my regular EDC um, that I carry on me. And then the last thing that I carry, just in need be, I've used this so many times, it's just a small ceramic razor blade um, for cutting out, you know, having to, to get to uh, uh, splinters and things like that. It's just a really fine, you know, it's like a razor blade or it's like uh, an X-Acto blade, you know, really thin, uh, really easy to cut. You know, if you got to cut a blister or something like that off, it's a whole lot easier than using your knife. So I always carry a small razor blade, you know, in my in my bag as well. So that's that's it, guys. And you can see, you know, it's a small bag. Um, it's a small bag, but it carries, you know, a whole lot of stuff uh, in it. And it allows me to 
have a better chance of getting to where I need to in a very small form package. You know, like I said, I can put this on, I can run full speed, I have nothing weighing me down. You know, I can also clip my water bottle to this if need be. Um, but guys, you should think about having a small kit that you can scale down to. We always talk about scaling up, you know, hey, if I can get to my vehicle or if I can get home, we always talk about scaling up. But there's going to be times where you have to scale down also. You know, you have to get rid of the huge pack because, you know, you might be getting chased for a reason uh, unknown. And so the ability to get rid of that excess weight to become lighter and faster is something that you definitely need to look into. Uh, so I would definitely suggest, you know, finding a, a, a small bag. It doesn't have to be a fanny pack. This is just something that, that I choose to go with. Um, but definitely find a way to scale a kit down. Make sure that it's in your EDC bag and with you every single day. Guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Make sure you like this video as always, and until next time, be safe. <laughs>